Hi guys, it's been a while. I've got a towel on my head as you can see, um, but that's okay because I just got out of the shower as per usual. Um, I'm just going to go ahead. I've already um, set my face with uh, moisturizer just by Nivea Daily Moisturizer and I'm going to go in with the Hydrate and Smooth from Maybelline Fit Me. I'm just applying the Hydrate and Smooth with a damp beauty blender. Now I'm just going to go in with the NYX Wonder Stick and I'm just going to take, this one's in light medium, I'm just going to take the contour stick, I'm running low, <laughs> and I'm just going to apply it um, under my cheekbones, around my hairline, like so, under my chin, and down my nose. This is a fairly cool shade, so it's not too warm, which is nice. Um, I don't like putting a warm contour around my nose too often, I like it to be a cooler shade. Alright, and then I'm just going to work that in with my damp beauty butter. That my contour is on. I'm going to take the Instant Age Rewind by Maybelline and this color is in Fair and I'll use this as my concealer and highlighter. You just click it up and the pigment will come out the top. So I'll apply that under my eyes and around my nose, on my chin, down my nose, and on my forehead. <clears throat> How is everybody? I did have um, clothes sent to me. I tried out, is it called Rose Gal or whatever? It's terrible. I, it's not even worth showing you guys. So I did try a website called Thread Up. It is an American company and they do ship to Canada. I did have a deal and I ordered a few things off of it just to see. Thread Up is a used clothing company where people sell their stuff online and you can get it for a lower price. So I figured with the American shipping and handling and the duty, I'd probably be paying what I would pay for at full price, but sometimes you can get more of a unique piece. So I ordered a few things that when I get the box, I will most definitely um, show you guys and give you guys a lowdown on what it, uh, what it's like and what I got. So that way you will see. Hi, so I turned my lights off because I figured um, they might have been a little bit too bright and the natural sunlight might work better. So if you've watched this far along, I really thank you guys. I'm going to go in with the Joe Fresh brand. Um, this is a blush stick in Peach Dream. So I've done all my cream products first. Um, just really worked those into my face. That way, um, when I go to powder, hopefully it will stay a little bit. I'm going to just use a, this is a Butte Basics brush and it's a stiffer brush so I'm just going to work that in. I could work this in with my fingers. But I don't know if I like it. So yeah, back to the clothing. I will definitely try showing you guys um, when I get the package uh, what it's like. Uh, so I'm just rubbing this into my cheeks. I took a little bit on the top part of my bone see if I like it or not. When I was going through, because I'm plus size, I didn't really see much that was um, not old lady. <laughs> so, hold on a second, guys. As I was saying, when I was looking through, I had to look through, like, I forget how many items. There was only, like, 2,000 or 1,000 items. Um, and I should see how it works, because I think they might send you a box and you can send some of your clothes back and then they sell them. I'm not too sure, but I definitely didn't see much that I would like. I feel like the age range might be like, for the plus size, might be further in their 50s. <laughs> so they definitely need to work on getting a younger crowd. So I got a few um, items that look like they would be good for someone who is young. So hopefully that works out. Since I'm still working with the cream products, I'm gonna take Trust Fund Beauty that glow though. I'm not 
sure what this shade is. I think it's more of like a champagne shade. And I'm just gonna apply that to the top of where that blush was because this is a fairly dark product. Um, and I'm still gonna use that original blush. Actually, I'm gonna go in with uh, just kind of like a beauty blender. I use this for blush sometimes. And I'm just gonna work that in. about you guys I love online shopping and I think I might have an issue so that's why I wanted to try thread up one of my favorite youtubers um, I just did a haul so I thought why not I'll try it out so we will see but mind you she's like a size two probably like a zero so it's much different I'm sure there's a lot more option in the more petite sizes I feel like any woman that's in her 60s that obviously shops at Jones New York must have uh, gave up their clothes with the odd occasional hip young person. So I'm going to contour with the shade that I have. I lost the lid to it. Obviously, the lids aren't that great. And I've also hit pan. So this is a Maybelline Fit Me product, and it's a blush. And this blush is in deep mauve. So I'm just going to contour with that. I'm just going to use a smaller blush brush and work that in around. So you Walking down 29th Park I saw you in numbs on Only in months we've been apart You look happier So you walk inside by You said something to me So I have this Sephora Colorful um, and it's Tranquil number six, and it's a contour, uh, and it's in this gray shade. And I'm just gonna take that just under my cheekbones with um, a flat kind of kabuki brush. So my work is moving locations in October. Um, my current boss has bought a house and they're renovating it. So I was thinking that I might bring you guys along and give you a tour when it's all done if you'd like that. Um, I just need to get more on the ball of filming. I'm not the greatest lately with filming. Um, I kept saying, oh, I'm gonna start vlogging parts of my life. I'm gonna start doing things. And what you see in the back corner over here, guys, um, by my closet, I, that was my clothing order that I am not going to show you. Um, I'm just gonna do a little bit in the hairline. Not a lot, just really work this in. So I need to put that clothing order away so you don't think my room is a disaster. So anyways, we're, we've bought an old house from like the early 1900s and it's beautiful and I can't wait to see it all done. I'm a little bit nervous of the change. I hope that we still get the same amount of walk-ins that we got and the same amount of people calling in. I'm still building. It takes five to seven years to build a clientele. Um, and my daughter's four and I've only been back to work for three. So we will see how it goes okay so I've contoured underneath my cheekbone just working that in and around my hairline I think that should be pretty good now I'm just gonna set my overall face with powder um, I'm gonna use the Maybelline fit me in 130 and then I will be right back with you guys I'm just using a big fluffy blender brush to kind of work that product in around my face and I'm, I'm patting it in. I don't need a lot of um, powdering because my skin's quite dry as you can see in the fine lines in my forehead. So my face will hold on to the pigment. What my face normally doesn't hold on to is blush. Um, halfway through the day I don't usually have any blush left on my skin. So that's usually the only concern that I have when it comes to products. And I'm not going to um, bother sitting under my eye just a little bit. The Physician's Formula, Translucent. And then um, that's pretty much what I will do. I'll take my beauty blender and just put that into the product. And I'm glad I got that under my eyes a little bit. I don't really need a lot of powder. And there we go. Oh, maybe I'll be wearing my nose with this again. My skin's drier, so I don't like product separating around my nose lately. I've been having to be kind of conscientious of where it's been powdering since winter is coming and the weather has been changing. So, it's kind of My brows today, I'm going to go in with a blonde shade. And I'm not sure who this is by because I've used it all up. So, oh gosh. I think it's CoverGirl, guys. Just a Point Arch soft powder brush crayon. So... I've used quite a bit of it. So as you can see, this is what it looks like and this is in blonde. So you're gonna see how I like that because me and my brows, we haven't had a really good go lately as I've been telling you guys. So I'll apply that and you guys can watch. You know what 
I think it is with my brows. I did have to go in with the Revlon Color Stay in Auburn. I think I over tweezed in this kind of area, so there's some weird hole that I have been dealing with that has been driving me nuts, so I just need to be careful when I over tweeze. I think that's my issue. I'm going to take the um, eyeliner pencil by Sephora. Um, it's the eye pencil to go mini, and this is in classic taupe. And I'm just going to line my entire top of my eye with this. I don't care if it's messy. I don't really know what I'm doing with my eye today. I'm just going into it, hold on. Yeah, I haven't really decided. I'm just going at her today. I'm just gonna work it in. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna kind of run this up on my crease a little bit that in. This could go one of two ways guys. I'm not sure really. I could destroy my whole look right now and just be like what did I just do? I'm having one of those days where I don't want to go too crazy but I feel like what I just did was crazy so I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Um, just working on into my crease. Okay I think I'm pretty happy with this weird type of smokiness. I'm gonna find a brush that I'm gonna work into this. I might just take like a, I'm gonna start with like an eye fluff brush. We'll see if that's not stiff enough. It's fairly stiff, but mm, it might not be stiff enough. And then I'll just kind of work this in back and forth motions on my crease and see how it goes. My daughter starts school soon. She starts on Tuesday. I got a call from her teacher the other day about the school that she's going to be going to. She's going to have 15 kids in her class, so that's kind of exciting. I'm just working this in back and forth motion, guys. I'm kind of up and flicking it back towards my closet, <laughs> if you can see. And then I'll just kind of work that across the lid and back and forth motions. Obviously this brush is working. I might as well just take it all over the lid at this point. Why not? Okay. So I've just kind of worked that in. Let's see. Back and forth motions. Oh, I don't mind this. Okay. And up on the top part of my eye. Okay, that's not too bad. I like that. I'm gonna take that underneath. Um, I'm just going to line my underneath my eye, as you can see. Might as well flick up a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to work that back and forth. Uh, some back and forth motions. Yeah, so there's going to be four classes um, that are French speaking where my daughter goes. So that's pretty cool. Hopefully she does well in the French speaking. Um, I'm going to attempt it. I don't really speak French that well myself, but I'm going to try my darndest to work along with her and be my best mom that I can be in helping her along. And if she struggles, then I'll just transfer her and put her in the regular kindergarten class. Okay, so that is my classic taupe eye. I'm just gonna speed up the next part of me doing the eye and then you guys can watch. screw it up. I'm gonna, <clears throat> or make it too dark. I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal Infallibles and this color is in 892 and it's Amber Rush. And I'm just gonna apply that to the top of my lids and pray to the gods that it's not going to be too harsh. So I'll put that on with my finger. 
If you haven't tried these L'Oreal Value Balls, you haven't lived. They're amazing. They've got incredible pigment payoff. And they're one of my favorite brands for eyeshadows. Um, especially if you like having a little bit of shimmer. Um, they seem to have amazing pigment payoff, so I highly recommend you guys try. Sometimes I like the Amber Rush, sometimes I don't. I like it just on its own, um, and I don't like messing around too much. I'm going to take this original blender brush, and I'm just going to kind of work that in. I might even work it into that little corner and pull down some of that Amber Rush and kind of work in back and forth motions. Um, I've got a few of the Infallibles. I wouldn't mind owning the whole collection at this rate, but I, I because I'm so fair, I say this now, but um, I don't really step out of my box color-wise, and I really should for you guys, so you can kind of see what different shades look like on me and what they would look like on you, potentially. I'm gonna take that pen again. I'm just gonna go back into that corner a little bit and work that pencil in a smidgen. This is kind of like a smoky, purpley kind of coral eye now. Because of the taupe, it looks pretty good. So I'll work that in. And I just see a crease in my eye. And back and forth motions and just really go about it. Okay. Um, I might dip in with that pencil that we had taupe and just kind of go slightly under my eye. Not a lot. I like the inner third of my eye. I'm not really going out of the corner or anything. Just to kind of tie that inner corner in together. I think that looks pretty good. I mean, I could blend a little bit better. I'll take a fluffy blender and see if I can kind of blend that pencil out a little bit better. In circular motions and then back and forth. And upwards motions. I've never actually used a pencil to kind of do my crease, so we'll see how this goes throughout the day. I'm going to find a shade to highlight with. I'm gonna go in with another L'Oreal Infallible. Hold on, my thing's falling. Okay, and this one is called Always Pearly Pink. And I think I'm just gonna highlight with the pink shade right now. At least I'm trying to. I'm gonna put that in my inner corner of my eyes. Pop that in for you. And work it in. I might do a little white on top, I'm not sure. I haven't decided yet. I'm gonna take that under my brow bone a little. And then we'll see. I might grab the other infallible with the same pencil, and this is an hourglass beige. This is my all time favorite one. I like this as an all over eyeshadow color. And I'm just gonna pop that right in the center of that pink and right kind of in the center arch of my brow. And then we should be good. Ooh, and maybe a little bit down my nose as a highlighter. And on the tip of my nose, just for some fun. And maybe I'll take some on my top part of my lip. Just for some kicks and giggles, yeah? All right. Okay, so as for a blush today, I think I'm gonna go with like a baby doll pink. Let me find something. I got this at a dollar store. This is a Mariposa blush. The shades, unfortunately, are not on the back. So I figured I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. It's not necessarily coral, it's got more of a, I call it baby doll pink. I don't know what else to call it. And I'm just gonna apply that to the apples of my cheeks. So, Sadie's class, that's my daughter's name, um, I guess there's a carport at the school, so you just drive into this carport, 
pull up and they come and pick your child up and take them to uh, their gates. So it's a pretty secure school. I like that you have to be buzzed in, that they have a video camera set up, and I like that somebody's going to come pick your daughter up. I mean, this carport might get quite busy in the morning, so woo, there's a lot of pigment payoff in this, you guys. <laughs> Holy. You like brush? Blush, girlfriend? I'm going to put a little bit on the things. I might have to get a different brush to blend this in. So I'm just going to get a clean, kind of stiff, I think I was using this for foundation, so it might have a little bit of foundation left on it, and I'm just going to really buff that into my cheeks really well, because I still have that kind of underneath shade that I put on, so... And if I was going to start doing daily vlogs, I don't know what you guys would like seeing. If my life would be boring or not, or if you want me to talk to you in the car, or what you guys would like. Um, it's also new, right? Okay. That looks pretty good. I'm going to figure out what I'm going to wear for lipstick. Actually, I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Glow Palette. Or Anastasia. 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 I can never say it right. That's why I say Anastasia. I think it's Anastasia. But um, I'm going to go in and I think today I'm going to do a mix of the Forever Young with the uh, Forever Lit. So I'll dab into the Forever Young and then one dab into the Forever Lit, tap off the excess and try to go fairly light handed in that highlighted area because I put that all that glow though already in there. So I'm just working those in circular motions. I'll put a little bit on the high parts of my forehead. This is quite a cool look that I'm going for today. It's not super warm, so hopefully it just looks quite natural throughout the day and I don't feel harsh. Obviously, once I get this towel off my head, it will look a lot better. And if you're still watching, thank you. <laughs> With the towel on my head and everything. Okay, there we go. You got a little bit of a glow there. I'm not gonna bother lighting my lips today. Um, I'm just gonna go in with the Rimmel London Make Your Move. This is a lip stain, and I'm gonna apply that and see how I like it. I wanna try to make my videos for you guys more exciting. I feel like, I don't know what you wanna see, what you want me to talk about. I didn't know if I would do like one video one day where I was just answering kind of questions about myself so it's not boring. I'm just gonna finish applying this so you guys can see. You know, I was in my bathroom and I thought, why is my makeup look looking so horrible? What is wrong with it? And you know what I realized? I realized that I forgot to put mascara on. <laughs> so you guys will see once I've blow dried my hair and once I've put my mascara on. Oh, that's hilarious. You can tell I'm a mom and you can tell I'm multitasking because... I totally forgot to put mascara on. That's hilarious. Okay, I just thought I'd give you guys that heads up. <laughs> I forgot to tell you that I used um, the Revlon mascara and brow. Hi guys, so this is my final look completed. I just have my hair dried and I finally put the mascara on and my outfit of the day. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all next time. Bye!